Of course, the mission of the Red for Red movement is to force the Arizona legislature into action. Governor Doug Ducey issued a statement this morning asking parents to push lawmakers to approve his plan for a 20% teacher pay raise by 2020. Cronkite News reporter Jamie Fossenkemper is tracking the response. Jamie? We spent the morning at the State House, reaching out to representatives and senators for their response about the Red for Ed walkout. Many were not available for comment. One very vocal opponent, Representative Kelly Townsend, did speak with us. While thousands of people protested just outside the window at the state capitol, Kelly Townsend met with us to set the record straight. She says she is not against teachers and she is not against students. She's against what she says is politicizing the issue. Don't agree with using children, teachers, um, inconveniencing families and all of that. Earlier reports quoted Representative Townsend's desire to sue these very teachers to stop the walkout, but she made it clear hurting teachers is not her goal. I'm not looking to sue teachers. What I'm trying to do is when you have teachers who are being harmed by this strike, if we have to extend the school year, I have had at least 200 emails now of teachers saying, I'm not for this. I'm supposed to start a job the day after. My kid's supposed to go on a mission or a whole host of things that are going to interrupt and interfere and hurt people in our state and teachers. 22% of them didn't want this. Early this afternoon, the Arizona Senate actually recessed until Monday. Meanwhile, the majority of the Republican leaders in the House have agreed to support Governor Doug Ducey's plan. Live in downtown Phoenix, Jamie Fossenkemper, Cronkite News.